the storm certainly caused a lot of issues for anybody who had to go out there and drive somewhere today. There is one positive. It's definitely helping our snowpack. Meteorologist Alana Brophy is live at the mouth of Little Cottonwood Canyon with the latest snow totals from the storm. Good evening, Alana. Good evening, Don. It was a healthy dose of snow. We saw the mountains get hit hard as well as valleys. And breaking news right now out of Little Cottonwood Canyon. It was closed due to a natural avalanche trapping skiers and snowboarders at resorts for the last several hours. Just got word that it's opening at this hour. We expect to see cars coming down the canyon. This is the first time since that avalanche they've been able to move through the area. They were told to shelter in place. At this point, we know that Snowbird received 22 inches of snow in the last 24 hours, and that's just one of the mountain totals. The valley has impressive totals as well. Take a look at these numbers. Brighton getting 21 inches over in Big Cottonwood. Heber picked up a foot. Tooele getting 11 and a half inches. The Sandy Bench, huge number there at 18 inches coming in throughout the day. We saw this storm start as rain and turn to snow. The northern portion of the state seeing smaller totals with averages ranging between four and six inches. Now, we know that this was wet, heavy snow throughout the day, and with that comes avalanche danger. So when that avalanche spilled onto the roadway in Little Cottonwood Canyon, luckily no one was hurt, but UDOT made the call to close the road and go into the interlodge lockdown. What that means is that anyone who was attempting to leave the canyon had to head to a resort, Snowbird or Alta. They closed recreation for the day, and they had to be indoors. You're not even allowed to stay in your car when this happens. UDOT has been continuing avalanche control on the canyon, throughout the day. As I just told you, it will be reopening. This is one of the biggest ski weekends of the year. Safety is a top priority. UDOT telling me tonight that they were confident with the storm moving on and conditions improving that they could open this road, but you can never be too sure with our terrain. All day long, this has been an issue with with um, slides and and uh, the concern for uh, avalanche avalanches here. This is uh, this is an area. Little Cottonwood Canyon is is probably the most challenging road for, in terms of avalanche danger in all of North America, possibly even the world. The snowfall rate with this storm system was five inches an hour. That's very, very rare. It causes whiteout conditions. Winds were kicking around. We know that this heavy, wet snow piled up with more than 20 inches up Little Cottonwood. Once again, we will start to see cars coming down this road as they just reopened it, feeling as though it is safe for people to travel on. But this storm really packed a punch. And when we have those inner lodge conditions in effect, you cannot leave. If you do, you face violence. Violations. Nine people were arrested this week for breaking the interlodge violation, including some today. That comes with a $1,000 fine, as well as the possibility of jail time. Serious, serious stuff we're talking about with this storm system, and it brought in quite a bit of this winter snow. Reporting live at Little Cottonwood Canyon, I'm Alana Brophy, ABC4 News. Don.